Hi, welcome. We are almost releasing one of the major releases ever is a 1912.15 or the December release of 2015. So I had to change some things on our download page because things got easier. And this is me trying to uh, tell you guys here is how to choose your ISO because it was it used to be something quite complex. And this point in time, we have the knowledge to put NVIDIA or the Linux LTS kernel on your system from our installer Calamaris, which makes things much simpler. These days, you choose your ISO when you look at this. If you're looking for a full ISO with XFC, Openbox, i3, lots of applications, three browsers, conkeys, themes, icons, and so on, a fully functional system, then you can get this Arco Linux ISO. You'll be up and running in no time. It's a fast um, graphical installer, and you reboot, and you're an XFC. If you want to have a minimal ISO, we we'll say, I will start from, from, actually from almost from scratch. It will be a graphical installer, so that's great. But if you reboot, you'll see that you're in a black screen. You have no applications, no conkeys, there's no light TM, there's no desktop of any kind, XFC, Openbox, i3, nothing. You install our installation scripts, you learn from the installation scripts, maybe prepare your way that way to the Arch Linux phase five, right? Learn to work with TTYs. And it will take several hours before you have a fully working system, but it will be still Arch Linux. Then you get Arch Linux D ISO. Now, if you're looking for um, an ISO that just contains one desktop, then maybe Arch Linux B is something for you. You choose one desktop, right? And then you have a choice. You can either have a full ISO, which means GIMP, Inkscape, three browsers, the likes, what we like as a, what we call a full desktop, right? What we want as applications. But there is a choice. You can also have a minimal one, which is keeping things a little bit to the minimum. There will be one browser, right? One editor, stuff like that. And in a bear, it's gonna be a really, 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 um, well, bare, which means that we get rid of the last applications that you have. So no browser, no editor, it's all up to you. Now, just two of these guys, XFC and PSPWM, you create your own bare version with the tutorials we've made. So you have to choose one desktop. We have 15 desktops to choose from, and you decide I'm gonna take a full one, which actually doesn't have a name at all. So if we quickly have a look at um, <clears throat> this page, then I'll show you. We go to download ISOs, uh, we were already there. And I'm gonna go to all the way down to this one, right? And if we go, well, we can actually stay here. So in a few days, this 19.11.3 will have a nice folder. It will be there and it will have the 1912 version. And things will, will change. So this LTS thing will not exist anymore. It's gone. So maybe it's better. I'll just go to the future release. So what you will see in the future is now at this point in time on AAG. AAG is a phase in our timing when after Arconix core members tested it, after beta testers have tested it, the world can test it. So this is still at this point in time there. And then, so here you see this awesome, which is the full one. If it doesn't say anything, it's the full one. And that's the minimal one. And here's the bare one. And that's it, as simple as that. You have a desktop to choose, full one, minimal one, full one, and minimal one, and XFC as a bare one. There is just one special kind of thing, which is a, again, a project that we've launched. And if you are looking for tiling window managers, the experience of uh, learning about all that, then we have here this uh, Arch Linux B extended ISO, which means the open box is there just as a kind of backup if you say, okay, tiling window manager, not getting 
I, I, the scripts are not not working or you you've crashed it and, and it's a learning phase right that's okay you can make it crash it's all right but then you can go back to open box and that will work so this is a special project that we've launched at some point in time and it's a part of uh, well, well, we want to promote Tiling Window Manager basically, and that's why it's there to give you uh, a go to let you give let to let you give you the experience, give you the experience to try out these Tiling Window Managers on your own. All right, so that's um, how you choose, and on the system, on the ISO these days, nineteen twelve point fifteen, soon to be released. You say whether you want to have the NVIDIA driver choose it during installation whether you want to have the linux lts kernel choose it during the installation but make sure internet is connected otherwise it will not be installed and that's it basically that's your decision making that you have to uh, do these days all right cheers